Hey guys, welcome back to another What's Cooking video. I'm celebrating Good Friday by making some delicious escabiche fish for dinner. All right guys, so this recipe is super, super easy. I'm gonna show you how we throw down in my house on Good Friday. I'm making some escabiche fish. I'm also making some festival. We have some bun and cheese. I'm boiling some yam and banana. We're gonna do it up, okay? So for this particular recipe, I'm using two different types of fish. I'm using some kingfish, which is what I'm frying right now. And then I'm gonna fry up some red snapper. Guys, I've already washed, cleaned, and seasoned my fish. All the seasoning information I'll leave down below in the description box. And as you can see, I added a good amount of oil to my pot enough that it completely coated the bottom of my skillet once I added in my fish the oil was well hot and then I cooked the fish for about four minutes on each side and then I removed them from the heat and allowed them to rest and moved on to the next batch All right guys, so this is what I'm working with after I fried up all the fish. Now it's time to prepare the escabiche seasoning that's gonna go on top of this delicious fish. So guys, I'm using the same skillet that I fried my fish in. I just removed some of the oil and added in another clove of garlic and two onions that I've cut into half circles. I'm just gonna toss the onions a little and then I'm gonna add in two carrots that I've cut up and I'm gonna lightly saute them and then add in one sweet pepper. I'm gonna use half of a green and a half of a yellow, and I'm gonna lightly saute those as well. I don't wanna overcook these veggies. At the end of this, I still want them to be pretty firm and have a good little crunch to them. So I'm keeping my stove at a medium to high heat, and I'm just gonna to continue to toss them. Now I'm gonna turn these simple veggies into a delicious pickled sauce that I'm gonna put all over the top of the fish. I've added in some thyme. I'm now gonna add in some allspice and season it up with some salt and pepper. Then I'm gonna add in a half a cup of white distilled vinegar and two tablespoons of brown sugar. Then I'm just gonna toss everything together and add in a couple pieces of scotch bonnet pepper for some spice and then give it a good little toss and then I'm gonna remove it from the stove and allow it to completely cool before adding it to my fry fish. Now that my pickled veggies have completely cooled, I'm gonna add it all over the top of my fried fish. Guys, this smells so good and it tastes even better. This dish is definitely a traditional dish in my household for Good Friday all the way through Easter, but you can eat it any time of year. It's so delicious, it's so healthy, and it's something that it's even better as a leftover. Guys, I also like to bottle up my pickled veggies because it tastes so good to use as a topping for a lot of other things. Thanks again for taking the time to watch another one of my videos and I'll see you in the next one.